our student speaker, Ms. Linda Ritter. Because protocol has already been established, allow me to greet everyone on the platform and in the audience and go directly to my comments. I will try to be brief. I will try. Good evening. It is an honor to be the class speaker for the University of the Virgin Islands graduating class of 2013. You know. You know, it's just like when you're in church and someone says something or the pastor or the choir sings something that you appreciate. Amen. Basically, this is a very large church and I expect to hear some amens. Just let that go. Oh. And so tonight, like I said, if I say something that you appreciate, you like, you agree with, just say amen. Broadcasting from the Penna House on the St. Thomas campus and transmitting from Bavoni, universally versatile intellectuals, let the class say amen. amen. From the President's Anti-Violence and Peace Initiative in remembrance of David Payne to the grand openings of the Wellness Center, CSAP, Center for Student Success, and the new West Hall Dormitory, we opened a whole lot of stuff. We participated, we watched, and we experienced it all of, life, of UVI's life-changing experiences. Amen? Amen? From the Ethelman Observatory, 1,380 feet up, to UVI aquaponics system being featured on the January 2013 VI lottery tickets, to UVI President Hall dissecting lionfish and sleeping in the dorms, under the direction of Dr. Chenzira Davis Kahina, UVI Virgin Islands Caribbean Cultural Center, the VI Triple C was born. UVI 50th anniversary time capsules were capped, not to be opened for 50 years. Not too sure if I'm gonna see some of you there, you see that's 2062, do the math. <laughs> Who are featured here? Shaka Khan, Al Green, Roberta Flack, Itania, Najee, Cirque Zuma Zuma, Michael Bolton, Wright Cole Center for the Arts, we applaud thee. WUVI Radio AM 1090, the voice of the university. Streaming live across the internet, taking UVI voices to places some may never see. Amen? But none of those were more profound or helped to sculpt our lives here at this university more than what we had to personally endure. As we made our way to the end of this, our road, as President Hall reminded us during rehearsal Thursday night, nothing is 100%. So, whether you are wearing the wrong hood for your major, or if your gown fits you like a tent or like a life jacket. Like me, if your package never arrived, your kinti stole was damaged in shipping or does not bear your initials. Stop, take a moment and bask in it because no matter what, they cannot take this from us. Even in my borrowed hood, thank you Amber Knight and Joy Charles, I say amen. Now, why the shuttle never seems to be running when it's raining, or you're late, it starts running at nine, but your first class was at eight. To the commuter students, you've driven all the way to the campus fighting traffic or endured that horrific safari ride, trying to get to class on time, to learn via a note on the door. Class is canceled today. See you next time, amen? Every semester, we cried, this is it. Mommy, daddy, dear God, I'm going to quit. But we did not, and we are here tonight to bring this chapter to a close. I say amen. Even at the cafeteria, my knowledge base was increased. I did not recognize that fish. I Googled it, I learned it was swai from Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. 
I'm sorry, we in the VI, just give me some potfish. <laughs> Amen? Textbooks were so expensive and we only read half the chapters in them. Amen? Why does the bookstore sell a required textbook for over 150? Two, three weeks later, I find it on Amazon for 60. Wait for the buyback period and try to sell it back. Then we all learn how quickly a textbook can depreciate in value over a semester. Amen? And we could never figure out why the research paper had to be 15 to 20 pages long. And that did not include the annotated bibliography or the cover page. There was also that PowerPoint presentation that we could not figure out what to wear. Amen? You didn't miss class. Well, yeah, we, we, we did miss some. Um, you know, you took notes sometimes. You read the chapter in between watching Scandal. You know, you studied, you studied, you studied, but you couldn't recognize anything on that test. But we passed them anyway, because we are here, we are here, amen? None of those were enough to stop us. We came, we learned, we emerged, amen? We took our voices viral. We passed that English proficiency and computer literacy exam. Thanks to astronomy, we now see more than just lights when we look up. Senior seminar, quant, statistics, psychology, chemistry, biology, and meteorology, we passed you too. Amen? We conquered, we thrived, and it was worth it. We learned not to keep working hard, but now how to work smart. It was worth the challenge because we emerged better writers, readers, bigger thinkers and believers, confident and courageous, creative and resourceful, competent and competitive. Amen? This is how the University of the Virgin Islands, this illustrious institution, has been a life-changing experience for all of us. But what the future has in store for us remains unknown. But we do know from whence we came. We followed the path of alumni before us, those gone but not forgotten, like class of 2012 graduate David Payne. Junie Violin is affectionately known as Miss V, class of 84 and ninth class of 91, student activity supervisor for 24 years. And not forgetting, she was gorgeous. She was a Miss CVI. And for over 30 years, he walked this campus. He was caring, sincere. He wasn't about position, privilege, or possession, nor was he moved by politics. He was a true son of this soil, Professor Jean Emmanuel. <laughs> to me, he was a mentor, he was a friend, Without him, I would not be standing here because before I dreamt this, he did. He's a Virgin Island culture bearer, stalwart of excellence, and a historian. To the University of the Virgin Islands, he was a professor who was always in great demand. For many more, an indelible force that is greatly, greatly missed. This is for you, Professor Emmanuel. Amen. Ashe, Ashe. The spirits of alumni past have guided and directed us as we walk the grounds of this university, from the Ralph M. Piwanski Library to the CA Building, from the Sports and Fitness Center to ACC, from Rico Center to Humanities, and all the points in between. We have crossed them. Amen. We emerged, and from today we will proudly hail that we were not held by the hand. We were not coddled. We stand together, shoulder to shoulder. We see those who have fallen to the wayside and those who slowed in their stride. But we must turn forward and stop looking back and hope and pray that they will catch up. Amen? I would be remiss if I did not call to your attention the non-traditional students such as myself, Anya, Leslin,
the Monets, the mothers, the fathers, the wives, the husbands who juggle textbooks and temper tantrums, workbooks and WAPA bills, bosses and biology. We made it, we made it, we made it. And together we all go forth because we are now ready. It's going to be a bumpy ride. But fear not for us. Because standing here, please stand in the class of 2013, because standing here in front of you are believers, achievers, movers and creators, executives and administrators, scientists and archivists, journalists and lawyers, nurses and doctors, the newest world healers, movie makers and entrepreneurs, educators and leaders. Streaming live across the internet, let the world know. We proudly leave here tonight alumni of the University of the Virgin Islands. Let the universally versatile intellectuals of 2013 say amen.